Hello beautiful people and welcome back to part two of Hogwarts Legacy. We have just arrived at Vault 12. This one right here and we are about to get stuck into its contents. Lord only knows what's inside but we found a key and it's ours to open so here we go. I'm glad this goblin's put himself forward to open this because I would not be doing that myself. Thank you very much Goblin Banker. You've been great apart from the bit where you were sleeping on the job but we'll, we'll allow that because you have put yourself forward for it. So, okay, let's get in. It doesn't appear to be too much on the initial viewing but... Oh, there's something at the end there that looks a bit dodgy. Did you see that? That nice little glow? indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Close the door? Ah. <laughs> right. Professor, um, that was certainly unexpected. That's not ideal, is it? That's think. not great. There must be something here. Revelio. Mm, so that reveals all char enchantments. Revelio. Yes. Which are present. Yeah, there we go. No time like the present. Let's so at the end of the vault, we can already see some kind of weird little glow. Okay, so this is how we're going to... Oh, we actually get to cast it ourselves. So you press X, steady your wand with left stick and guide it along the symbols path to learn the spell. Press the on to any input. Okay, so we move it up. Okay, I'm ready. Carry around. Oh, now I'm loving this. This is... This is everything I'm wanting so far. So press left Revelio. to cast Revelio. Revelio! There, I saw something. There we go. Move He's seen it. And try again. What do you mean try again? Do I have to try again? How close here? Let's go here, shall we? I mean, I can already see it, but we'll um, we'll do it again. So left on the D-pad, Revelio. Oh, we have ourselves a door, a and there's that symbol again. That again. Yeah. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. Can we open it? Can we, what happens if we poke it? Let's poke it. Forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Oh, good. Oh, thanks. All right. Um, how do we do this then? Just, yeah, poke it. Whoa, okay. Where are we now then? Yeah, I'm glad you did that. I feel like money to Lumos Maxima. I can't see a thing, mate. To earn our way out of here. What Can you teach me, Lumos? Our way out. Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Okay. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Right. Okay, so things go badly, we're kind of done for. So I'm going to stick close to Fig, who seems to know his way around a wand. Um, Shall I do Revelio? Worth we'll a try. No, nothing in sight. Okay. I would like to learn Lumos because that looks very helpful right now, doesn't it? Having a torch. I see something up ahead. Oh, hello. What is it? I'm I gonna guess know. it's the symbol again, yeah. Okay. What on earth is this? Should I just stand on it? I'm gonna stand on it. Oh investigate, yep. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the who on earth is that? About. Does he have a sword? Are you all right? Yeah, mate. I'm yes, I'm dandy. You no damage. The floor to change. Yeah. Sorry about that. That statue. Oh, was a statue. It's all right. As long as it's a statue. Sort of statue so again, what is interesting is that we're seeing all of this and he isn't. So. I think we need another Revelio here. Let's do that. This is what you saw ah, there we go. So now we can see that. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. A keen observation. Okay, now it's rotating. It moved. The reflection turned in the direction of the light. So it's following the light. Interesting. I agree. How do I do this? Okay, here it goes. Oh, yes. Drink it in. Lumos. So we have added Lumos to our arsenal of spells alongside Revelio. You have acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. There we go. 
Hold R2 and tap triangle to cast or extinguish Lumos. Lumos. Well Lumos. Now the reflection now I'm gonna spin it off. towards me. Oh, okay. Does this the is very interesting, isn't it? It follows the light. So if I walk around here, yeah, it follows me. Oh, okay, so we've lined them up. And something's happening. So what is happening? Um, is he going to get angry at me? I'm a bit worried he's going to get angry and swing that massive sword at me. Okay, well... Um, oh dear. I'm not sure... This is entirely good. What have we done? Yep, okay, that's what I thought would happen. Potato! Oh, there we go. So we know Potato. Come on, Fig. Yes, world class. Oh my lord, he is a machine. Okay, how do I just throw some things around? See, look, I, I mean, I don't have a lot right now. I'm not doing a crazy amount of damage. Oh, there we go, we are doing some. My lord. A Lumos is probably not. I just protego at a perfect timing. There we go. Remember, now we're dealing some damage. Perfect. Look at that. We need to get some movement going on here. We're a bit close, I think. Look at that. Demolished. I mean, Fig is an absolute machine. He's a unit, yeah. Yeah, no, no qualms with that. I'm going to stand right here. Any more sword wielding statue madmen? No, okay, cool. Um, we are going to need Professor, Lumos again. Professor Where's he gone? Professor, okay. Where are you? Right, I might be in a little this bit of trouble now then. Where Where's this going? To go? There's some weird light What's happening? type stuff emitting this way, so I'm going to run this way. To be leading me somewhere. Um, but I am without Fig right now, which could be a little bit of a problem. Okay, there's that symbol again. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. I stand on here, investigate. Oh my. Okay, we need ourselves some Lumos. Uh, more statues, which I'm a little bit nervous about. Where do they need to be pointing? Okay, so we need to Revelio first up. What's that? Oh, there's a chest over there. Let's go get that then. Oh, more Galleons, 30 coins, whatever. I'll call them coins for now until we know exactly what they are. Um, so we need to get Lumos out again and we need to line this up, presumably. Even though I don't think that's the best idea. Um, okay. All right, so he is activated. Where's that leading us? Okay, so let's... There we go, look. So we need to do all three of these and then I'm assuming... Something inevitably bad will happen. So that's two out of the three secured, and this is the third one. Let's line that up. Him sound on his feet. Um, I am a little bit worried about the absence of Professor Fig. Because um, if I have to fight some more of these, although I could handle a couple, uh, I couldn't handle the same amount as we just fought on my own. So. Oh dear. Like no have to fight my yeah, there we go. Oh, I knew that was coming. Right, let's get tussling them. Come on. Yes, so the counter immediately after Protego seems to be very high damage, so that is something we are going to have to use to our advantage. Look at that! Demolished. Hold triangle during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefied counter attack. Stun enemies to get extra damage, indicated by golden number. So we've seen that already. Um, the, the extra damage with the, with the gold numbers, so let's try that out. So we'll just throw some curses about here until we get the opportunity so we hold that oh there we go the superfly stunned him left him vulnerable oh i missed that one there we go superfly there it is again causing some serious injury oh okay we're taking it a few times here so when that symbol appears i need to remember to there we go superfly throwing it around who did we just superfly this guy Oh, I need to get out of this corner. This is not good for me. Let's run over here. Super bad. Okay, let's throw it. these ones while they're down. Demolished. Oh, okay, a little bit slower now and then. I've been punished for it. Oh, now this is a lot of fun. So I was a little bit unsure about as to how the one combat would go. I think it's something that would kind of be a little bit difficult to nail. But early observations it seems to be spot on it looks very satisfying i'm loving it although it's 
just pressing one button at the moment it seems to be beautiful to, to behold so do you see if there's any more chests about no okay so again we're following these these wisps of light so we've just got the sprint option there so let's do that so this is where we're meant to be heading isn't it anything else on the no Revelio no firing gas or anything uh, so we're just leaving us here let's investigate that hopefully Professor Fig will be in here oh okay so we have a little bit of a doorway what on earth is going on so we have like some kind of red overlay on the outside of the screen here this doesn't look great I'm going to be honest this is not giving me warm friendly vibes in here I mean this game is stunning though isn't it look at that wow this is everything I'm hoping for. What on earth is going on? Revelio, let's do that. Chest over there in the corner. Let's get ourselves some of that. Get ourselves some coins slash galleons or whatever. Anything else? So it appears to be another chest over there. Let's get that one as well. We're really stacking up on the cash here. Could be useful for when we get into the big bad world. Okay, so investigate. What is this? Is this the key? No, not sure. It appears to be a, a vial of something. Not sure what. But it looks very fancy. Is that Professor Fig? There Hello, mate. How did you? So many questions. Um, basically, I don't I know. know. <laughs> I found this floating above that Hopefully, he will know what this thing is. That is no mere basin. He does know. It's a pensive. That okay. A pensive for viewing memories. Something we're very much familiar with. A pensive. I wonder. This might contain a memory. Be sparing with that then. Don't pour it all in there. Or you can just dump out the whole thing then. Can you recover memories Follow my from the pensive once you pour them in? That's kind of something which you never actually see. You see people looking in at the memories. You never see them pulled back out, but I'm assuming you can. So here we go. We appear to be flying back through time into somebody's memories. So this guy looks like a bit of a wizarding genius, by the way. He's just whipping his wand about and seems to be building a whole kind of palace for himself. Uh, he's not alone. He has a companion here. Charles Rookwood and Percival Rackham. No idea. Of the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. So we can see no traces of ancient magic, it seems. Will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the As for why we with powerful have that power, I don't know. Knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. Ah, so it seems that we are very much on the path to unlock some bad boy ancient magic. The trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that it comes So we are doing the trials for all this power, it seems. Are we near the end of said trials? So this is his memory of Charles Rookwood, I think his name was. All I can say. The glow is let's hope that Professor Fig is not evil otherwise we are leading him straight to some bad boy ancient magic which could be really quite deadly of an ancient magic to be precise the magic that Miriam had always believed existed but could never so she was fully aware of it these two might have been working together to, to find it died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries and you it seems are the key to understanding why yes i don't know why i've been kind of selected for that goblin banker coming. yes who's he with uh oh dear i'm guessing this is the villain oh dear was right ranrock oh dear these two appears to be our odds precedes me I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? I'm getting some evil music going on. I'll no just whip out the wand. That. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Oh, he's got the red eyes. He's definitely a menace, isn't he? <coughs> uh, sir, 
They have the key to the vault. <laughs> yes. Now get out. Choose your next words wisely. I I only meant that the instructions. So I'm guessing those instructions were also clear. left by Rackham or Rookwood, whoever Sir, it was. I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you did. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, okay. Well. I have no that's probably not great for his back. No. That's probably going to hurt a little bit. Well, Hopefully well, he's just, you know, I'm unconscious, a little bit pain. sleepy. Not anything more well, serious well, than that. Perhaps your young friend here. Oh, quite the contrary, Mr. Radrock. <laughs> Let's tussle. Oh, we have a little bit of Priory and Cantatum going on here. Whoa. Okay, so this guy is quite powerful. Especially if he's throwing fig about like that. Oh, what's going on here? Ah, I think that's some kind of defense mechanism to prevent such a menace. Oh dear. Look, now look what we've summoned. This is, you know, the stone knight on steroids. Oh lordy. He's just, is he just throwing those out of his hands? I mean, that is a sign of a very powerful little wizard. Oh my lord. He's stumbling about. Uh, Fig, you probably going to need to move, mate. What on earth is going on? Uh, Fig? Whoa. Okay. Come on. Let's get out of here. This is not good. When you're ready. Come on. Let's get you out of there. Uh, ooh. I think we're okay? Yeah, okay, nice. Oh, my lord. So this has been a very, very intense start. Wow. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Yeah, he is quite the goblin. Where Hopefully that I? stone warrior giant thing would have done some damage, but I doubt he would have done much. It seems so he seems like he might be the main villain. Ranrock. And the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. Oh, there it is. The Harry Potter music. So we are off to a sorting ceremony, it seems. And I, for one, cannot wait. Oh, yes. There it is, the Hogwarts Express. Oh, tingles again. This is just absolutely insane. Look at that. Oh, beautiful tears in the eyes that is gorgeous Hogwarts legacy folks it has arrived drink it in <laughs> let us delve in so we have the different houses there in the bottom right so we have the Gryffindor the Ravenclaw PS5 loading times are too quick for us to even see all of them but here we are oh my god we're at the castle oh good we haven't missed the sorting ceremony well I hope not I haven't picked my, my house yet I'm no expert but that seems more oh yes so at the moment, now, what logo do we have on the robes? Okay. Yes, they do, because Ranrock is a menace. All that's happened this evening uh, between you and me. Professor oh, Fig, you can trust me. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to tell the first person I see. Absolutely. So it's a generic Hogwarts robe I've got on for the meantime. There it is. There's the hat. Who's this guy then? Uh, not sure. Seems friendly though. He's kept that one quiet. Didn't announce what Phineas, just happened. Nigellus. Phineas Nigellus Black. Black. Oh, I see. So this is the headmaster. So this is the Simon Pegg character. Apologies, I was wrong out there. Headmaster. This is Simon Pegg. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. No. Oh, I appear to have missed that. Complications. It seems the goblin Enough. from the 
goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. <laughs> I love Simonberg. I might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Absolutely. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'll be in touch. Thank you, Professor Fig. I hope nothing bad happens to that man because I love him. He's my favourite so far, Professor Fig. Liking him a lot. Hello. Yeah, are you eyeballing? Are you eyeballing? Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. The sorting ceremony. Here we well, go. Professor Weasley is the deputy seen. headmistress, obviously relative of uh, Ronald Weasley. There it is, the iconic sorting hat. Plop it on my head. Oh, oh yes. Now I don't know what house I'm going to be in here. A bit older than the others. I am, yeah, you? fifth year, coming in a bit late. Apologies. Come here with preferences and preconceptions, certain expectations. I'll be honest, I'm a bit of a menace. Um, I want to explore. I'm forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond yep. the castle and grounds. Mm, indeed. Much can be gleaned. So there seems to be a series of questions which will determine the house Your that I should be put in. Have a great deal to teach you as well. I am looking forward to learning as well, but exploration is going to be beautiful. I wonder. Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of mm. what is it? Murderous tendencies? Um Absolutely. You know, I'm a very, I'm a daring man. I am I'm not going to lie. I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. No fear here, lads. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Absolutely. Perhaps you belong Natural to born leader. Oh, okay. Gryffindor. So I've been picked as a Gryffindor. But I'm going to rebel. I'm going for Slytherin. Slytherin House, known for cunning, ambition, and hunger for power. Let's have a look at the other ones real quick. Ravenclaw House, known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. Hufflepuff House, known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Daring, bravery, bravery and chivalry. Oh, it's between Gryffindor and Slytherin. Cunning, ambition, hunger for power. Daring bravery. Uh, can I be a murderous Gryffindor? Is that a thing? I want to go Slytherin. A growing sense of An eagerness for power. Eagerness Let power. us go, ladies and gentlemen. I accept and become you the Slytherin I was Slytherin. destined to be. Look at that smile. Wonder when I get the robes then. Oh, literally instantly. There we go. The green and black. I mean, they're clapping, but they're all going to get it. The first opportunity, they are going to get it. Oh, and Those dutty Gryffindors. Thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been You've got canceled. to be joking. Cancelling Quidditch. Hopefully that comes as some kind of DLC. Um, they've already confirmed they're not bringing Quidditch to this game straight off the bat. But as I say, hopefully some kind of uh, additional content would be lovely. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Ooh. I said I'm sure you all have plenty to do no. before classes begin tomorrow. I want some more food. He's trying to get rid of us. Okay, cool. Bye. Thanks. And there we have it. We are a member of the Slytherin House. I'm Professor Weasley. Strangus McDuggan. Oh yes, please. Get me into that common room right now, I beg. I'm Professor Weasley. Hello, Professor Weasley. And you. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Let's go then, let's go. Thank you very much, Professor Weasley. Deputy Headmistress Weasley, whatever you want to be called. It's quite so, for a to begin as a yeah, I know. Maybe a bit of a challenge, but 
one I'm sure you're up to. Oh, you have no of idea how much I'm up for this. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. Here we are. In order to enter, entrance to the Slytherin common room. Okay. Aspiration. Aspiration, of course it is. Lovely. Very well. Aspiration. Said with conviction there. Look at that. We have ourselves the entrance to this living room common room. Let's get in right away. Well Thank you now, so much. Go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Okay, you, I look forward to it. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy oh. your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Oh, I will sleep like a baby. Thank you so much. Ah, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. There we go. So we've just woken up within the Slytherin common room. Let's like have a look around. Let's head to the common room. So these are the sleeping quarters, well, lots of things. Revelio. Let's do ourselves a Revelio, see if there's anything knocking about in here that we can steal. What do we have here? Apples. Lovely, munchy, munchy. That is delicious. Oh, this is the moment we've been waiting for, isn't it? Can I throw some jinxes out? Oh, I can. Wow. Okay. Um, can I open this? This looks very, very tempting. No, okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Let's get ourselves to the common room. Thank you very much. So there is plenty to explore, but I want to get stuck into the common room straight off the bat. Let's give ourselves a little jog. I suppose some introductions are in order. Hello, beautiful people. Introduce yourself, but we will do that very soon. But first off, Let's just have a look around. So already, absolutely gorgeous. Let's head this way. They're talking about me. It's tough, all right? Got a difficult life. So this is under the Black Lake, which obviously makes for some very beautiful scenery. Let's go over to one of the windows and just have a look at what's going on out there. Oh, wizard chess. Not quite as destructive as it is in the first film, but there it is. So we are underneath, as I say, the Black Lake, and those are the, the fishies flowing about, the bubbles, beautiful to see. Inventor of Skelligro. Let's give this a spin if we can. Oh, yes, there it is. That is beautiful scenes, isn't it? Let's have another explore of... Oh, hang on, there's someone else we can spin about. I'm just going to do that to everything. Why, Melda Rares? I'll talk to you in a minute, but I'm having a look around. Um, anything on the notice board we can use? Kenmire Kestrels. Looks like the Quidditch team. Um, again, absolutely stunning, isn't it? Let's have a look up here. Have a sprint about. Plenty of tapestries and everything to look at. Oh, no, it's about to leave the common room. No, we don't want to leave the common room. He is sprinting down these stairs. Okay, cool. This is beautiful, isn't it? This is absolutely stunning. Wow. Drink it in, boys and girls. Sliver in common room. Leave yourself some comments. What house are you in? What more do you want to see in this video game? Which common room do you think is the best? This is definitely up with a shout. Um, am I meant to be here? Level 3 lock. Okay, so I'm not supposed to be able to access that yet. But I'm guessing that is Salazar himself. Holding a skull in typical Slytherin style. Let's have another munch of an apple. And there's something else to spin. No, I can't spin that. That's unfortunate. Um, can I get through here? I can, lovely. Oh, okay, so more sleeping quarters. For everybody here, there's something else we can interact with. Looks like peanuts or something. Yeah, some lovely, lovely munch. Let's listen to that crackling fire. Oh, yes. This is what it's all about. Welcome to Hogwarts, ladies and gentlemen. 
And what final way to start then with Slither in common room? Let's have a look at the other side. Something else to spin. Obviously, got to give that a spin. Got to give that a go. Um, I'm going to be a notorious apple eater in this game. Every time I see something to interact with, I just want to do it. Oh, look at those plates and saucers all moving about. It's, oh, face first into the muffin there. He's loving that. Uh, what do we have here? Pecan pie. Ooh, I think that's what that, I don't know what that is. Um, more cake. I'm also going to have the fattest character if possible. Uh, level 2 lock. So we found a couple of chests already we can't yet access, but hopefully we'll soon be able to do that. Um, let's crack on. Let's fly through here. Um, there's loads of little side alleys and everywhere to explore. Can I have a go on this piano? Oh, there we go. Magical. Did I just see that statue move and stamp his foot? I'm pretty sure I did see that. American character of nope. Okay, let's have a look down here, or is this outside of the common room again, perhaps? No, nope, appears to be very Slytherin esque. This is gorgeous, isn't it? More places to look around. This is absolutely stunning. So, what we will do, ladies and gentlemen, is we'll just round off part two here. Um, next episode, we will be having a chat with Imelda, Ominous, and Sebastian, so we'll get to know some of the students here at Hogwarts. Um, but thank you very much for tuning in yet again. Um, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll have the next part out to you very soon.